Hey everyone, welcome back to Lightning Returns, and this video is completely skippable. Oh really? Oh, okay then, fuck this. I'm out. Bye everyone. So, yeah, this will... We're gonna have a quick look around here, but this video is gonna primarily consist of talking to Hope about lots and lots of deep Final Fantasy XIII lore. Okay, I changed my mind, I'm not out. But yeah, this. I I I really I really hope you guys are are okay with a lot of talking to Hope. By the way, you may you may notice something a little bit weird about Hope, if you've been paying attention. But we'll get to Hope in a second. Right now we have something that's actually important as hell. Oh God, yes. Oh no wait oh wait no I'm doing it later. Never mind. It, it it's coming at the end of the coming at the end of the video. Oh, are we? At... Oh, but you do you do still have to actually do that that challenge. You just don't have to do it before talking to Hope. Oh, who wouldn't want to get talking to Hope out of the way? Hope, as time, once long ago, we fought side by side, bound by a common destiny. Lightning, why are you staring at me like that? Also, remember, Mum. Yes, remember when Hope's mom died? Remember the knife? Oh my god, I remember the knife. He fucking loved that knife. He was going to be humanity's great leader, the one who Man, remember when Hope was a good character? That was a very short-lived time. But it didn't work out the way. Anyway, fuck that fuck all that character development. Hope back to like his whiny 13-year-old form. The Hope who I'd seen become a man was a boy again. He was up here in lonely command of the Ark. And this was where he told me about God's plans for the two of us, and the world. So as premises go, God of Light has this is a bit out there, the I gotta say. And chaos has flooded through. Yeah, so the short version of LR's entire premise is that after the end of 13.2 and, you know, we had all the chaos leak into the world and all that bullshit, instead of actually getting to see that, they were like, no, 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 no. What if... We did a fi another 500 year time skip. It's a simple role. You have to rescue as many people as you can from yeah. this world and lead them to the new one. So, it's an that brings us to here. It's 500 years later. Time has effectively stopped for everybody and now the world's ending. I scratch God. Well, you say you say it's 500 years and time has stopped, but really it's like the other way around. Like time stopped. And yet somehow we can still meaningfully say that it's been 500 years since time stopped. Well, it's it's not really fair to say that time has stopped. What's actually happened is some dumb justification where something something chaos paradox. Basically, Etro, now that Etro is dead, there is nobody to govern the cycle of death and rebirth. So nobody ages, nobody dies, and nobody is born. Such a long time ago. You can, I mean, which is a lie. You can still die from like monster attacks or illness or Maybe whatever, but like, but that's it. and his servants just distract us from what we're supposed to do. Yeah, the whole so the whole thing is a little bit ontologically maybe he did, arbitrary. And maybe returning me to childhood was the point of is, too. the but world is a bit fucked, and yes. the apocalypse is impending. And God is essentially gone, hey, I'm gonna make a new world. What so have? what you're gonna do is you're gonna go time. out and save it's people's souls save so that they can come with us to this awesome new so world. For some reason, he specifically chose lightning to guide for this task, I began my holy mission. rather than the, the Liberating the souls of doing anything tidy like and ushering them into dealing with world. souls himself, which he can't Seer, do for some reason, even though he's God. Of mighty Benavelza himself. Light? Light, what's the matter? What is it? She is it's just... Real, right? She actually had just I'm been blanking out that entire time. Like, you know I was joking before, right? Yeah no, yeah, no, Lightning is not paying a goddamn word of attention to what Hope is saying right now. He said, and rightfully so. Yeah, I mean, you'd blank out too, be honest. Now there's barely anything left at all. And when the Savior has used all her light, 
so yeah, the world the world has changed is what they're getting at here. Like remember 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 all the areas that you learned about? Well, fuck all of those. We made some new areas, areas that weren't just leftovers from Final Fantasy thirteen. Yes, as many as you can. Remember, every soul you leave behind will be lost for all. Oh yeah, that's the other big catch. Everyone that Lightning doesn't save as the savior, they're just left to fucking die forever. No pressure there. You're here, you're safe. You can rest and not worry about what's yeah. happening in the world below. There's there's gonna there's gonna be some weird gameplay implications of this actually, but you know, as with literally everything else, we'll get to that. And we came dangerously close to me having to talk about one of the big reasons I fucking love Lightning's character in this game. But we averted that, and now that can come later too. It doesn't happen at the same time? It should. But the world has been weakening rapidly under the onslaught of the chaos. Okay, so... The pace of the destruction yeah, as, as Hope is kind of getting at here, it says, like you said, the, 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 the game ends in 13 days. The problem is that you start with 7. And we'll talk about how you earn more days later. But the short version is that if you don't get to the final day, then that is actually a straight-up game over. Yeah, this game has a serious fail state. Although it does have one big reprieve. But I don't know how we're going to deal about deal with talking about that though. But what does it matter how many days are left? The end stays the same. Why not keep the Aradia for myself? Lightning the pragmatist. And the world ends before the third. Oh yeah, and the other big God important thing here is that light is that God part of the deal with Lightning being the savior is that God took Sarah's soul and is basically saying, Look, if you don't you know get the get the world through to the new world, then uh fuck you. I'm keeping the soul. Not just Sarah either. The entire human race might be lost. Keeping it for what? There'll be no world. Aradia is the key. You have to gather as much of it as you possibly can. I don't- I don't think God's thought through the cosmology of his universe very seriously. Well, regardless, the point is that basically Lightning is doing all this so she can get Sarah back after she died at the end of 13-2. And that's literally her only stake in this, emotional, personal, material, or otherwise. It is- it is- it is very apparent in this game that Lightning does not give the first shit about anything other than Sarah. And I like that! That's a character point! I, I do too, That that's another thing I legitimately like about this game, is that Lightning does not give a fuck about anything in this game. Except Sarah. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, we should probably talk about EP, huh? And we'll we'll get to that next video. Okay. Well, for the, for now, we'll content ourselves with noting that EP is limited, and you can trade it to hope for items if you are a moron. It was when the chaos first now, into our later you can do that, and that'll be good, but don't do it now. Only one small region to make a long story short, as the game goes on and you get further and further into the 13 days, the shops get better and better stuff. And Hope gets some real good shit. Are we still talking about this? There were no more children. I mean, it, it was a little bit interesting, I guess, how, like, over the course of 500 years, the entirety of the old world and the new world kind of, like, converged and became the four environments in this game. And again, I like that they did that, because that gives us four new interesting environments, and I like how they use those environments in this game compared with how they used environments in, in 13 and 2. Humanity's last chance for salvation. It's... It's good. Remember good game design? The Ark is the remains of Do we remember what that feels like? A planet built of steel, back when humanity still dared to dream of greatness. Anyway, apparently God can't even bother to, you know, get us a, a real ride, so we're actually just crashing in Hope's cocoon. 
yeah, this 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 entire like white feng shui thing is literally all that remains of that thing that was the entire plot of 132. Which, for some reason, is also called Bunavelsa. That's not going to get confusing at all, by the way. I don't know who gave me the knowledge. It's not that I have forgotten my past. Some memories are still there, and I can summon them when I want. It's just that I can't recall the emotions they should evoke, as if they're images of someone else's life. Hope, I know that I once lived. I hope you're being weird. The surface of the planet. I know that Snow and I joined forces to try and. Why is Hope being weird? Chaos. And then suddenly. Oh, here. don't you see? God has happened. taken According his memories or survived, the man called Hope something. Disappeared 169 years ago. But the records and my I'm going with there. something, to be honest. What after that? I can only assume I was in the hands of God. I, I mean, part of his let's, let's be honest so what this is. Prepared me for the role that I had to play. Here, when, when Hope talks about himself and says God, what he means is the character designers. Because they, for some reason, they were particularly attached to Hope's previous character model and wanted to bring that back and wanted to have some kind of justification for why that shit was happening, but they didn't want to deal with the stupid baggage of Hope. So instead we get this... thing. Anyway, you can replay boss battles. That's cool, right? It's totally pointless, but it's there. Welcome, valued customer. No, that that's great hope. Anyway, let's talk about Schemata. Schemata. They're paradigms. But better. They're... Yeah, okay, they're not paradigms, but... They're not paradigms, and I don't... And I don't know if I would outright say they're better, but they're certainly a thing. So, yeah. Like how you could make a deck of paradigms and switch between them here, you can make a deck of Schemata... You make a schemata, you put them in a deck. And basically, each one has a couple components. The uh, the actual armor itself, which will change your outfit. And it also gives you... I believe it changes your base HP, your base stats, as well as what basic abilities you start with. Yeah, like, there, there's a... Most... I think I think every, every, every garb has one innate ability. So like the the garb is the basis of the whole thing, and then on top of the on top of the garb you equip a weapon and a shield and some accessories and some other abilities, and it's all very customizable. Basically, what we're saying is that this this game is is dress up doll lightning, and it's the best fucking thing. Like, and I am I am not kidding about the extent of the dress up here. Like, you can you can like do color customization and accessorizing and mixing and matching everything, and you can give all of your costumes cool names, and you can strategize, and this is one of those games that just has menus that you can just get lost in. Just messing with numbers and abilities and settings and balance, and min-maxing, and strategy, and tactics. And I fucking love this game! And one last thing here, so, as Hope mentions, we have to come back to the Ark every day at 6 o'clock. It's... it's the law. It's very dumb in how they justify it, but that's basically the breakpoint between days. But we'll worry about that next time when we start the game proper. Ugh. <sighs>